this is good. Soy milk, perfectly, it's this box. So as you see in the title of this video, this is a PhD vlog. I'm an international PhD student in New York. I'm doing my PhD in sociology and I study a mix of social movements and social media. I haven't decided my dissertation topic yet, but I decided to make this series of vlogs to kind of take you along the journey of my PhD. I finished my first year right now, like in the summer between the first year and the second year of my PhD. So hopefully I will have four more years, but I decided to do these videos because first I just like making content in general. I'm Iranian, I used to make content in Persian and this is me trying to make content in English. Hopefully it goes well. And in addition to all of that, as an international student in US, I feel alone and I feel like I don't have that much of support. Obviously my family is not here, many of my friends are not here, but I also feel like I don't have power in any possible sense of the term. And I feel like I don't have any audience. I feel like no one is aware of what is happening to me. I feel like no one knows what I'm exactly going through. So I feel like making this content, talking about the things that is happening to me, documenting them will help me to go through all of this like journey of PhD and being an international student and kind of will help me to get settled more and more. So if you like PhD content, if you like vlogs, if you want to see all of the hard work and all of the research in addition to like my life in New York and like how I have fun sometimes and how everything goes, just tag along and watch these vlogs. I feel like I'm gonna make monthly vlogs, but I don't promise anything because PhD is weird and I may be super busy sometimes, but, but I try to stay on track. So we will see, we will see. Three hours later. So as I was saying earlier, I'm in the summer between my first year and my second year right now. And because of that, I don't have any classes, but I've been working on a few different projects. Some of them I started like in the beginning of my PhD, like almost a year ago. Some of them are more recent, but right now, since I don't have any specific dissertation topic yet, I'm working on a few different branches to like understand what I like. I have three main candidates for my dissertation topic, but I haven't chosen yet. So I'm just like working on eight, I think, eight different projects, which are somehow related to those three. And I'm just like gaining experience in different branches, learning new methods, learning more theory to understand which one is best for me. And I'm also kind of hoping to publish this. I'm hoping to like turn all of these eight projects into papers. I know that's super unrealistic, but I'm gonna just like aim really high. And if I can turn 70% of it, which is gonna be five, yeah, five, six of them into papers, I will be more than happy. Let's, let's aim for eight and then end up doing five. And I think that will be fine. So right now, today is a Monday and I have a meeting with my advisor on Wednesday and we are working on this methods paper, which for that I have to read many papers. I'm learning new methods, which is okay-ish. I think learning methods is just like really tedious because you have to read papers, you have to like go through the details, you have to try them to make sure that you understood those. But at the end of the day, you learn really useful things. And as you like learn more methods, you become better at research. You just can quantify your ideas more and you can just measure more things. You can calculate more things and just your research ends up doing, being better at the end of the day. So in general, I like this project. I think it's like a really good project, especially in like the beginning of my PhD to just like learn bunch of methods and just like work on them for my different papers throughout the rest of my PhD. So he sent me a bunch of papers, which I think I read half of them, but, and I have to read the other half before the meeting. But the issue is that tomorrow night, I'm going to a concert. I'm going to this concert of this Iranian artist called Asadi, which I absolutely love. I've never seen him before. I've been like listening to his music for years, but he's coming to the city, so I had to go. I bought tickets, I think four months ago, I think. He does Persian trap, which is really cool. So I'm really excited to see him. But the issue is that since I'm going to that concert tomorrow night, I kind of have a day and a half to read all of these papers. And since I'm filming, I'm like way slower than usual. So I'm really on a tight schedule right now. I was like planning to go 
uh, to a dance practice tonight, but I don't think that is happening. I'm looking at the clock and it's, no, I don't think that I can do the dance today, but I'm gonna try to schedule. Let's do a bunch of readings. I'm gonna read today, probably read tomorrow morning, and then I start taking notes in tomorrow afternoon, and then just like get ready and go to the party. So it's almost 8 p.m. right now. I've done four hours of work. I've read some papers, but I have to do way more work. This is definitely not enough. So I'm so sick of my room because I've been working here for a few hours. Now I'm gonna go to a coffee, take a shower, then go to a coffee shop to study more. I think if I, I think that the coffee shop closes at 10 p.m. If I can work two hours-ish there, then I will be happy. I, in two hours, I think I can read like three papers, then I can come back watch some TV shows and then just call it a day. So I went to the coffee shop, read three papers exactly. I read these three papers and I really, really loved them. So today I was like mostly reading how to analyze image data on social media. And I read these three different papers. They all introduce some computational methods that you can analyze image data. This can be like photos on Pinterest. This can be people sharing things on Instagram. This can be videos and like footages of political campaigns, footages of like social movements, basically everything. And there are different methods that you can analyze the aesthetics of them, the postures of them, the facial expressions, the meanings of them, the emotions of them. And then you can just like correlate that with a bunch of things. Super cool stuff. I really liked it. I'm going to probably use a few of these in one of my upcoming projects. So see, it was really boring to read them, but it ended up being good because I actually read really useful things. But either way, it is 11-ish right now. I've read enough today, kinda, almost, almost enough, um, but I'm super tired, I cannot read anymore. I will just like edit the videos that I took today and call it a day, see you tomorrow. Bye for now, bye. Hello, good morning. We have to do laundry today and then do some reading. Today, the weather is super rainy, which which is a good thing, but I kind of didn't know that New York was rainy before moving here. Like in the movies, they always talk about how warm California is. You see that all over the news all the time, but I never really knew New York is rainy. Maybe I missed all the signals, but it is okay. I hate super warm weather, and that's one of the main reasons that I didn't apply to any schools in California. But this is good. I'm enjoying this right now. I have this like small window corner that I recently made. I bought some cushions. So I'm like comfy in here. Today I have to finish the readings. Right now it's 1 p.m. I'm going to meet with my friend at 6 p.m. And then we're going to go to the concert together. So I have four or five hours to finish the readings, take some notes, and then just be done with this project for like a week. Because I'm going to work on other things throughout the rest of the week and the next week. So that's it let's let's do it
so i finished the readings it is almost 6 p.m right now and i'm ready for the concert i thrifted this few months ago and this was like a normal yellow shirt and i wanted to wear this but it was just like too normal for a trap edm concert so i had some textile paint and i painted this over i'm not so sure whether i like it yet or not but my room is a mess and i had the colors everywhere in my hand but i got rid of it so going to the concert i will vlog a bit of that too let's go today us being so in the west being so connected with uh, latin music k-pop genres uh, african jamaican reggae dancehall we gladly accept that in the united states mm -hmm. and all the other non-middle eastern countries but we have yet to understand and appreciate middle eastern musical art and culture <laughs> so i made it my goal to modernize my heritage to today's music in the form of cinematic electronic music with the Middle Eastern influence. And I hope that there will be a Middle Eastern wave and I'm somewhat of a way to help push for that. I think that was actually really good. I think I'm I'm happy with it. I'm I'm actually happy with it. If I was doing it in Persian, um, it would be probably better because I'm like more confident in front of the camera when I'm speaking in Persian. But like, this was also okay. I think this was okay. I think this is like the best that I can do right now. <laughs>